with and sometimes propelled by the great technological leap in the 1920s, social patterns in place for decades also began to shift. Nowhere was this more obvious than with the changes for American women. An expanding job market had given more and more women careers and the disposable income to do with what they wished. Throughout the 1920s, women would assert a newfound freedom and independence, and nothing symbolized it more than the 19th Amendment. In 1920, after 81 years of agitation, women won the right to vote. A woman's lot had changed in almost every way. She thought that she had the right to live for herself rather than for her family, for others, as women were always supposed to. She went to bars. She went to after-hours clubs. She went to wild parties. She had much shorter hair. She wore much more makeup. You go from having young women whose dresses reach to their ankles to flesh, flesh everywhere. And a lot of 20s culture is about the fun of smashing prohibitions. The more daring women of the day were known as flappers and vamps. Sure, I remember flappers. They were all over the place. I mean, they, they were older than me. But, uh, you know, you look at the, when you look at the flappers through the eyes of, the, of a young guy, wow, whoa. I think a flapper was the type of, of young woman who just wanted to see how far she could go and then would stop because she'd be afraid to go too far. And a vamp didn't care how far she went. The shattering ways of 1920s city life were spread by the media to rural America. 